Hi everybody, I am coming at you with another weekend trip vlog. A few weekends ago, I had the wonderful opportunity to travel to Copenhagen. I was there for, I wanna say less than 48 hours. I flew in really early on a Friday morning and Copenhagen is pretty far from Madrid. It's all the way up north in Europe. And so it took me a long time to get there. I had a layover. I didn't vlog kind of my journey getting there because as I mentioned in my previous video, I got really sick right before leaving for this trip. I didn't want it to mess up any of my plans to go. I was still gonna make the best of it and make it happen. I don't have the most content from my trip, but that's mainly because we didn't do too much. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to give this as an intro of like what you're gonna see. So I've really thought about how I kind of, whether or not I should vlog this trip, how I wanna really introduce the concept and whatnot. But for anybody that's known me over the last two years of college, I went on this trip with my dear friend now, Adam. We had been dating the last two years in college and decided to go our separate ways for abroad, but we still keep in touch. We're really good friends, like he's the best. And so that's who I'm with in this vlog. And we had a wonderful weekend together. Again, it's really easy to travel one on one with just one other person. And he was so excited to go to and do all the things. I was kind of the Debbie Downer being that I got sick right before we left. It was an amazing time. He studied in London. So we met there, spent two days together. And yeah, we were freezing and did not dress necessarily super appropriately for Copenhagen, but overall it was an amazing trip. And I wish I had been able to document more and stay there for longer. And I had midterms, so we were there over the weekend and then I had midterms that upcoming week. So on top of being sick, I was stressed out and not that I need to justify like content again, I'm, however many people are even watching this, but just, you know, keeping it real. And it was an amazing time, but this just goes to show that abroad definitely changes some of your relationships and you are still able to maintain healthy ones with the people that you love, whether it's in Europe, whether it's in America, whatever. So I'm really happy that we went together. It was a great time. Now we are back in our respective countries for the rest of the semester, but that is who you'll see in the video and I hope you enjoy. It's fully a gas station. And there's our place. Just want to say we stayed in a wonderful location, but here we are enjoying the beautiful streets of Copenhagen. That's the trip. Imagine I like to flip. All right, let's see some jumps. Do a trick. Uh. Oh, at the trampolines, and they overlook this beautiful thing. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> <laughs> There he is. Okay, I was the one who made a big deal about seeing the trampolines, but honestly, they were overhyped. This was by far the coolest thing that we did on Friday. We were in a place called Freetown. Here's our commentary. What's it called? Freetown, Christiana. Freetown. That's in English. Whoa. We'll come back tomorrow. We're still more daytime too, and we're just popping. Which is so cool. Bob Marley. Oh, free Palestine. <laughs> this is like giving fever dream. Or like, what's it called? Like, back rooms? Like. Totally. So I don't know. Like, what is this place? <laughs> what is that? I'm so glad I was told about this. This is so weird. It's just like a lot of graffiti. There's a no photo. Oh, really? Yeah, no photos yeah. down there. You are no. There he goes. Like the aesthetic ones? Yeah. You can. I'm not really good at taking pictures, honestly. I'm not either. Or videos, TVAs. Clearly, we're having some other conversation, but I thought it was actually being funny to include that because, you know, I'm actually bad at pictures and videos. But. Here we are, it's beautiful during sunset, and this is us the next day at a lovely place called the Round Tower. That's a climb. I still don't fully understand what this building is, but it's literally a round tower that you climb up and go up in circles and circles in the middle of Copenhagen. We did pay a cheap entry fee to do this, but it was cute, filled with tons of families and stuff. And there were these little museums inside of it. Here's one of them, and I thought it was super interesting. It was kind of like an art exhibit. So totally a bang for your buck. I would do this if you're looking for something to kill time or literally get out of the cold like I was. 
it was lovely. And here's us climbing up. Here's a second little exhibition thing that they had. And it only took about, I don't know, 10 minutes to get to the top, but we stopped and looked around in these for a while. Here was the beautiful view of the whole city from the top of the tower once you make it up there. It was a really cool lookout. We got some good pictures. And at the very, very top, there was this little space, oh God, what's the word? Observatory, I think, like for space. Yeah, it was super awesome and beautiful. And then we climbed all the way down together. Got some pancake balls fresh out of the tower. Got these little pancake balls. Here we are at a Lego store. Adam told me that Legos are from Denmark, which is something that I did not know, but this was a really cool thing to see as well. And then he insisted that I put this in the vlog, a really nice statue in the middle of one of their kind of main plaza areas. This is just kind of how we got around to and fro. There's a metro station here and some restaurants. My Copenhagen, very cold. Way too cold. And last but not least, here we are taking our wonderful robotic metro to the airport. Okay, I'm gonna end this video the same way that I started it with this little intro setup we have going on, outro too. If anybody watching this is considering taking a trip to Copenhagen, some things that I wish I knew that I did not previously, because like, I don't even know where it was on the map, I'm not gonna lie. But it's in Denmark, for anybody wondering, they speak Dutch there, but honestly, everybody spoke English, which was so nice. They're like used to a lot of tourists and there was a lot of people from the UK visiting when we were there. Everything is also very expensive compared to at least Spain or I would say most other cities in Europe. I know that like London, Paris, Amsterdam, and Copenhagen are kind of those top pricier cities, but it was pretty expensive. Like we wanted to go, we got dinner one night and it was like 50 bucks for both of us or that burger place that you saw in the beginning for both of us to get two bur like a burger each fries and a drink was 50 bucks and the currency exchange was a little confusing they don't do euros so keep that in mind maybe exchange some cash also something to know is that right when adam and i got there we hopped off the plane and got metro passes because they have a really high tech metro it's like super it's a pretty modern city honestly for how old like all the architecture and stuff is and like nobody's even like conducting their metros. It's just like all automatic. But you like scan in and out. No actual person is there watching you scan in and out. Nobody was really doing it there. So we kind of spent 60 bucks for two metro tickets for two days for nothing when we like weren't even scanning them in and out every time that we would take the metro. That's something I wish I had known before. Otherwise, we had asked our friends that are studying there for food recommendations. Nobody could really give like a solid answer. It was really interesting. There's a lot of like, hot dog stands on the street which is not what i would expect would be their like main thing but it was a lot of other just like street foods you saw we ate those little pancakes but if you are wanting to go to a nicer dinner you should do research and make reservations adam is a foodie so he was like really disappointed about us not being able to find restaurants half the time that's on us we also ate like really good sushi there just kind of a variety of things there's a really awesome like food market we had a lovely time again thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this vlog i'm gonna keep improving but please comment or send me any tips that you may have for a new vlogger or somebody that's just trying to you know put content out there for fun just trying to show you guys what it's like to study abroad as a clueless college student that's never been to europe before so yeah everything has been lovely since copenhagen i'm on the ups of my healing journey i got through midterms successfully yeah looking back on this trip i just wish i could have enjoyed it more in the moment and not been so stressed about everything else going on but such is life and thank you guys again for watching for my next video i'm thinking of doing kind of what a week of my life is like in madrid or a little marley and madrid series we have going on i'm kind of just vlogging everyday things going on around here and then as i mentioned in the barcelona vlog i will be going back there in a few weeks and to florence over spring break so i will be vlogging with my roommates and please make sure to stay tuned for that and then i'm doing a lot of more out of spain trips in april so make sure to stay tuned and love ya adios